Look at that big boy right on that big beautiful toad dragon versus Cathay. Oh man, it's a tang. The watch it looks so beautiful. One of the most jealous things I could have for Grand Cathay. So, Tamarcon on his big boy here. Twenty-eight fifty, I believe, is his cost, and I still have enough to overrun Cathay. The Cathay player must have expected a sorcerer on a rot beast. Which, to be fair, is a good assumption since they're so cheap and efficient for what they're cost. But in my experience, you want to throw something into Cathay. Caster, Final Trans, Celestial General, War Drum, and to be fair, you guys can't see this, but a lot of his army right now is mm, hidden from me. So I don't know exactly. I got a few glimpses, but I wasn't sure until I got close with Tamarcon here. And yeah, we have Pestagoras, we have Marauders with great weapons, we have Nurglings on the side so they can catch anything trying to come in. He's got fire arrows to deal with any healing, but he doesn't know what kind of healing I have yet. And as you can see right now, we're saving up a lot of points right now. I'm trying to just fish in there. I'm not just saving up because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not unaware. No, I'm saving up for something real special. Nothing too crazy, but it is efficient, I'll give him that. He's got a Jade Warrior on the low point, which will hold. If I send a Pestiworth, I should be able to deal with him. And here they come. Two, and I think maybe one more Fury, three Furies to come deal with all the problems. I've done this before on this map against Cathay, where I just unload three Furies into this. Tamarcon, great distraction card effects. He's taken, I think, over 6,000, or no, has to be at least 3,000 damage so far, which would have killed the Sor Nurgle Sorcerer, because they're like, what, 4,500, 5,000 HP? Tamarcon's just tanking like a boss. And here come the Furies. A little relaxed, we're trying to get on those Crane Gunners, because as soon as we get rid of those in the air, we should be fine. We're going to try to get a rear charge with one of them. Zaytang just goes for the shot, we're trying not to bunch up and while he's doing that we just hit him on all sides and that's perfect he's got a grand cannon coming in but we still have a lot of nerglings a lot of other warriors to come in so as soon as he tries to defend from the furies we are just surrounding him like we are now tamarcon's getting his toe dragon ready i'm trying to move out so i don't do some friendly fire and booyah oh it's so beautiful this is what the toe dragon should be doing it's so good Shooting, 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 and all he's gonna get is a Pestiers are finally in. I sh my micro's a bit too lax here as I'm trying to maneuver all these units. The Fury should have been caught, should have been moved out easily. Final Trance coming down on three units. I think one's a Pestigore and two are Marauders. I mean, it's kind of worth it, but it's not really doing too much, and I don't even know if he overcasted it. But at this point, we just got him surrounded. I mean, it's still... He's got more value than me, that's for sure. Um, he's actually closing the gap in terms of unit count. So I need to play my cards right. To be fair, though, one of the units is pretty much useless down on the lower end there, not doing anything. So it's really like 12 to 14 units right now. Tamarcon's going to come in, do some nice little rear charges. Big damage over there. Misses the cannon shot. Still missing cannon shots. That's what I like to see. And we have summoned in our own Sorcerer. And it's going to be a Nurgle one for the healings. Empress's Crow's coming in. We see that. We're going to send in Furies. we got Chaos Warhounds coming up on the side, too. Two of them, actually. And the Pestigore's coming in to deal with the Jades. Yep, here they come. Tamarcon's still getting shot at. The Chaos Sorcerer's coming in. And I think I made him like a 1,000, maybe 900-something for what is worth. Because all he has on him is Fleshy Abundance. He might have Children of Nurgles too, I don't remember. But he's going to do exactly what I need him to. Jade, or no, those aren't Jades. Those are, I think, Peasant Horsemen to come deal with Pestigors, which... Oh no, they are Jades. That's actually the worst matchup for them. Even if they charge in, two Pestigors will do more than enough. Searing Doom actually doing pretty good damage, but also doing a lot of friendly fire damage there. And then the Furies jumping on top with more than enough. Tamarcon's ability to give plus 24 plus magic attacks in an area is insane. Pestigore's with 48 melee attack, 48 strength, 40 strength, magic. It's pretty nuts how strong that is for just almost 30 seconds. And in that 30 seconds, they just down Jade Warriors, 
Empress's anything. A little mistake on the micro, but I also don't want to overblob with my Warhounds if I don't have to. They're really there to countercharge any peasant horsemen that come out of there, so if you see them just standing there, it's not because I'm not paying attention. It's literally just, okay, I could get rid of these, but I'm afraid of one cast or something like that, or he sends in Jade Warriors or peasant horsemen, so just bam, countercharge. Here come more Jade. They realize, you know what, the, <laughs> the Grand Cane is pretty much shut down. I might as well try to help with the front line. But the front line's also costed. My opponent makes a huge mistake. You never overcast your Searing Doom. Yes, you get more area, but you get a lot less for that area. For the Winds of Magic you spend. I mean, it is increased damage too, but it's not that much more. Tamarcon still tanking up. He has just... Ooh! Trying to beat up on that wardrobe along with my Sorcerer trying to help out. Yeah, baby! And yeah, that thing's going nowhere. Saitang is just... Yep, he's Saitang. He's pretty much gone. At this point, I've not only caught up, I am ahead in value. And that's not including the heals. The fecundities, the fleshy abundance overcast. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And I did this build before against a Demons of Chaos player earlier. And I was doing Children of Nurgle with the spamming of Miasma and Stream. And it just... It just didn't feel right. I mean, I almost won that one. I was close. But when you go up against Doc as any model ground faction, you will lose. They are just brutal now. They can do everything you can do and then some. So yeah, it's not a game I expected to win, but definitely a game I was close to hoping to win. If they didn't have a dang stupid flying lord, I could have got him. Probably should have brought the Angels of Decay. But I also hear Plague Drones are good now, so I might need to give those boys a try too. Oh, well, not good, but at least got some buffs, so... We'll see if they're good. Need to do more testing on that. See, my opponent trying to go for a sneaky capture on the low ground to try to deny me, but <laughs> I'm testing out the Rot Knights, baby. If those those Jades want to test my patience, I will take them to the bank. And those ain't Halberd Jades, so it's going to be easy, easy money there. And yeah, at this point, my opponent's, his army's tattered. I still have plenty of Pestigors and such. I even try to get cheeky by using a Dragon Breath down here when I could have done it on the Halberds right in front. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much over at this point. I'm going to fast forward here soon, just looking over the battlefield. Summons the Grand Cannon again. Don't, if you're already down this much, don't summon an artillery piece. It's just going to get shut down. I have Furies right there, and they do exactly what they need to do. He's going to counter charge, but I got more Furies, <laughs> and... I don't know if those are Peasants or Jades, but they still take too long. Satan finally uses his Watcher's ability or his Bow ability, but by now it's already too late. Tamarcon's here, he's there, he's gonna hit you in the face, and his Dragon's gonna eat his Lord soon. Satan's getting beaten up by the Rotten Beast. And yeah, GG's opponent, GG's. By the way, this was on the ladder, so... Yeah, it is what it is. Um, Tamarcon did not pay for himself, and that's with heals, so... But I think he's great. He took a lot of damage. And although that's not reflected in the value, I think that should be reflected in his usefulness. Especially being unbreakable. So he won't get trapped down. Didn't bring in any great weapon ogres. Rot Beast, uh, they only really dealt with Satang, so it is what it is. Fury's MVPs, as always in this type of matchup, so I'll give it to them. Uh, Alright folks, we're coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and sub the video. We're on the road to 2,000 right now. Join the Discord. Come see me on the stream. Show some love or play against me or anyone else on the channel here. Always appreciate it. Alright folks, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace and goodbye for now.